This is a Kali dog. And this is Toko the Kali dog. Dubbed Toko the human dog on multiple media outlets and becoming increasingly popular for its disturbing, lifeless appearance. Inside this hyper-realistic costume is a person who's living out their dream of always wanting to be an animal. In today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into this human dog mystery and seeing just how close we can get to finding out who this person really is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and if I could please have your attention for just 10 seconds, and then we'll get right into the video. I'll let you know when 10 seconds is up, because we're gonna have a little red bar right here. We have a winter collection over at EarlDoesn'tExist.com, which includes this high-quality denim jacket, and we have some other new designs, so make sure to go check out the website. And also, my first ever album, Ear Candy, is premiering on this channel on January 26th at 6pm PST, and it's gonna be on all streaming services, so make sure to turn on post notifications, then you can turn them off after, I really don't care. But yeah, that's it. Is the red bar over? Let's get started with the video. So, where did Toko come from? It all started on April 11th on Twitter when this tweet was posted. It had a video attached and read, I ordered a costume. Thanks to you, I was able to fulfill my dream of becoming an animal. As I'm recording this, the Twitter video has 1.9 million views, and the topic alone has garnered tens of millions of views on TikTok. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This tweet was actually a reply to Zepit's tweet, which was them revealing the costume for the customer. Zepit is an art studio that specializes in figurines, animatronics, bodysuits, 3D modeling, and robotics. They usually get commissioned for films, ads, amusement parks, and other expensive reasons. Their original tweet read, I made a dog modeling suit at the request of an individual. Modeled on a collie dog, it reproduces the appearance of a real dog that walks on all fours like a real dog. Here they also link the section of their website where they give a few more details on the costume itself, such as the fact that it took 40 days to create, and the production amount was 2 million yen, which translates directly to $15,437.46. We're talking USD. Remember, this doesn't doesn't mean that the costume was bought for that amount. If the company wanted to make any sort of profit, they definitely upped the price. And for the amount of work and time that went into this, I'm gonna guess that the person paid anywhere from twenty dollars to $30,000. Fake TikTok. Before we talk about the person in the costume, we have to talk about the fake TikTok that spread like wildfire. Maybe it's the reason you know about Toko the Human Dog. On December 5th, 2022, a TikTok was posted with the caption, Half Dog, Half Man. The TikTok attempted to showcase the human dog costume, but spread an incredible amount of misinformation to the over 11.4 million people that viewed it. Not only did they misspell surgery every single time, but they claimed that the person in the costume got plastic surgery to look like that and paid $400,000. He eat like dog, walk like dog, and sleep like dog. Looks like you type like one too. Most of the people in the comments ate it up and probably continued their day like nothing happened. It's very easy to be tricked on TikTok and I don't blame anyone for believing this stuff because it's not like everyone is gonna go out of their way to research every single TikTok they come across, but hey, I'll do the job for you. TikToks that spread misinformation remind me of that blue emoji image. <laughs> but anyway, who's the person in the costume? Person in the costume. The person in the costume has a main channel named I Want To Be An Animal. The channel only has 22 videos so far and each is about 5 minutes on average. I watched every single video on this page and here are some notes I gathered along the way. In their second video, they flip through notes as a form of communicating to the audience. They have a Japanese text at top and English at the bottom, which I found very interesting because why the need for both languages? It just comes across attention-seeking to me, but what's more attention-seeking than paying thousands of dollars for a dog costume, right? Anyway, the cards are simply explaining that they're gonna start uploading YouTube videos more often. The flipping of the notes is highly unrealistic, as a dog wouldn't be able to do that unless they were trained to do so, but even so, this human is struggling to the point that they almost tip over just trying to flip the note, telling me they don't care about realism that much if they bend their wrists and arms in a way that a dog can't. Another question that is extremely important, how does the person fit in the costume? Well, it's never been revealed, but after looking at the body movements for a while, I think I have the answer. I asked my girlfriend to draw this for me because I'm not an artist and thankfully she was able to bring my vision to life. I am 99% sure this is how the human would fit into this dog costume. The front wrists are way slimmer than the ankles which leads me to believe that that's where the person's knees are placed. I'm sure there are some bands holding the feet up and maybe some other ones holding the torso up but we'll never know unless the person reveals it. What about the person behind the camera? It's obvious neither of them want to show their face but they did accidentally show their reflection in the dog's eye for a couple seconds here. They also do show their hands sometimes and they look slim which could be it's a woman behind the camera. The jaw is able to bite down with what I'm assuming is some type of jaw band, but it's so awkward seeing Toko attempt to grab stuff, even though 
they probably can't even see properly at all. The struggling makes me think the eyes are actually see-through, but everything's probably dark and you lose sense of most of your peripherals. In the video called Rough Collie Played Table Tennis, they strap a racket to the paw using a hair tie or two. The teeth are sculpted exactly like that of a canine's. I tried to find frames to see through the mouth, but it's always pitch black. At the end of the sofa video, you can hear the person in the costume panting, which is very surprising and leads me to believe that it's just an editing mistake and it went over their head because they're really trying to be anonymous. And I'll show you guys the clip, but it comes across just really creepy. I mean, it just seems like an extreme body workout to always be on your hands and knees and probably sweating inside the costume. In the video, Why Did I Want to Become a Dog? I'll answer some questions. We get a Q&A. So I'll read you guys some of the most interesting questions and answers. These questions were taken from random commenters and they're answered with some text at the bottom of the screen. Why did you want to become a dog? I have had a vague dream of becoming an animal since I was a child. Would it be called a desire to change? When I fulfilled that dream, this is how it turned out. Have you ever wanted to be an animal? If anyone else feels the same way, tell me your story in the comments. What was the trigger? I've wanted to be an animal ever since I can remember. So what was the trigger? It's difficult to answer the question. Why Rough Collie? The reason for this is because it's my favorite breed and because of its size. I'm particularly fond of cute quadrupedal animals. Don't you think Rough Collies are cute? The fact that the size gap with humans isn't large was also a deciding factor. Are you tired of being human? Sometimes it's reported that I'm tired of being human, but I've never said that. How did that happen? Other things were reported incorrectly. Beware of incorrect information. The topic is getting a lot of attention, but how how do you feel about it now? I'm very surprised because I didn't expect this to happen. How could this have come from a lighthearted tweet I posted? You never know what life has in store for you. And thanks a lot for all your comments. I'm sorry I couldn't reply at all. I've had a proper look through it. Thank you. It seems to be a hot topic in many different countries. I am interested in how I am being introduced to your country. If you like, let me know in the comments what's going on in your country. The person also talks about what countries their videos are most viewed in and admit that they live in Japan. Have you ever been outside? Not yet. If I had the chance, I would like to go out, but I don't have the courage to do so. One of these days, I'll make a video of it, so just wait and watch. What do people around you think? In the first place, I told people who are really close to me. For example, if I told the people I work with that I wanted to be an animal and I became a collie, they would look at me funny, wouldn't they? If anyone notices who I am, please don't tell anyone around me. In their 14th video, they started using closed captions instead of editing text on screen. Watching the person in the costume try to climb stairs is so incredibly unsettling. It reminds me of that old Konsume Panchi Japanese commercial. Konsume Panchi. Konsume, Konsume, Konsume Panchi. Which we talked about in this video in case you want to go check that out. But yeah, in the comments, they just say they gave up because climbing stairs with a costume on is incredibly challenging. They have custom sandals for when they go outside to not get the paws dirty. In their 16th video, they do go outside, but for a very short amount of time. They get scared of being seen and hear bicycles coming, so they panic, pose like a real dog, and walk back into their house when the coast is clear. Oh yeah, in the captions of that video, they said that they rented the house for the video. Interesting, right? In their bloopers video, they present videos that never made the final cut and showed a scrapped jump rope video where Toka was supposed to jump rope. Though jump rope takes timing and we get a very human-like crawl from Toko for the first time, and it seems like Toko isn't even role-playing as a dog at this point, and it's just so, so creepy. I almost consider this breaking character because of how much it doesn't look like a dog. In their 18th video, they claim they went to a different location to be interviewed by an unnamed broadcast company. Here, they do run into people and interact. The people seem shocked, but overall are happy to greet a human in a dog costume. In their 19th video, they showcase that they can in fact drink through their mouth using a straw, which means there's an opening in the mouth. They for some reason go out of their way to drink three-fourths of the coke. We, we know you can drink it. But what about eating? Well, in the next video, Toko eats food. Or do they? The camera person person serves Toko dog food shaped toys and it's just role play from here on out. The camera cuts to an empty bowl and the audience is just supposed to assume it was eaten. The camera person is also confirmed to be a woman with the caption, now she's going to give it to me from her hand. Their most recent video, which is from November 18th, 2022, is a thank you video for 10,000 subscribers. Or should I say, subscribers?
Uh, is is that on purpose? They really focus on how popular they've gotten and talk a lot about their stats going up. Again, comes off as loving attention. They also mention a live TV interview, which I never found. Perhaps it only aired in Japan and no one has put it online yet. The Twitter account. So browsing the Twitter account, the main one, at Toko underscore Eevee, that had the video blow up, all of their tweets were fairly normal and seemed like Toko was and still is a huge fan of the Nintendo Switch game, Pokemon Unite. We even got to see a setup picture. Very clean. Keep in mind, that's the only IRL image that Toko has posted as a human. I don't know how else to say it. But uh, we can see their human height here. We can't actually identify it. I'm sure someone's going to do it. Someone's probably going to somehow calculate Toko's height using this image. And if you get it right, I applaud you. Anyway, being a big fan of Pokemon Unite, they actually streamed a ton of it on YouTube. And the best part is Toko still streams. In fact, they're more consistent with the streams than the dog channel. But even better is they use a mic in their streams. So that means we get a voice reveal. <laughs> So out of my entire research that I've done, here's a quick recap of what we know about the person in the costume. They live in Japan. They always had a dream of being an animal. They love the attention. They have a camera woman. They don't care about realism. They're a huge fan of Pokemon Unite. This image is the closest IRL image they posted. This is their voice. <laughs> They're very shy about people close to them knowing they want to be a dog, and they're very scared to go out in public. And a little bonus fact that I noticed is that their favorite Pokemon is Eevee. So, is this a case of a person being stupid with their money, or just someone getting what they want because they have enough money? Could mean the same thing. I mean, Toko isn't hurting anybody besides maybe giving, you know, people some nightmares. I say let Toko do what they please, and we get that creepy entertainment. I might just hit up Zebet and make me an Earl costume. But yeah, I think we have a right to judge people based on what they buy if they're posting it on the internet and it seems like they want attention but honestly who cares what you do with your money you know what they say yolo right <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching it i'm sorry for the inconsistent uploads i really am i was finishing the album and it's gonna be out so i'm back on the youtube grind i know i say i'm back on the youtube grind a lot but i'm just gonna zip it and just actually show you guys some work in 2023 i want to make more uh specific topics because i usually do broad topics like the dark stories of reddit the dark blah, of youtube i don't know i just those are very broad topics in 2023 i do want to focus on more specific topics like for example this toko video if you guys liked it let me know if you guys like more specific topic videos i loved doing research on this so i hope it performs well and ear candy debuts on this channel on january 26th at 6 p.m pst and i'll see you guys next time i upload